So today, Google Translate is going to tell us how to make Belgian waffles, because I love those things. So yeah, Otter over in Germany went in and translated a basic recipe into Google Translate, which then put it into a hundred other different languages, and then put it back to English. So we're going to test to see if it's a Belgian waffle recipe. I have the recipe right here on the computer. Greek pancakes. I thought we were making waffles here, sir. Okay, I guess we're making Greek pancakes. Two and a half cups of flour, four tablespoons salt powder. What is it? Salt powder? I have salt. I don't... How would I... Oh. oh, this is a little bit wet. Improvising our own salt powder. It is kind of wet and chunky, but salt powder there. Everything else seems pretty good. Combine the dry ingredients in a large bowl. I need a bowl. This is large bowl. All right, combine the dry ingredients. So two and a half cups flour. Got a big old container of flour. There's one. There's two. And eyeballing a half because this is a Google Translate recipe. So it probably won't turn out the best anyway. I think that includes our salt powder. Blade bit. Half a tablespoon of salt. You want me to add salt and salt powder? These waffles are gonna taste like the freaking ocean! Where is my tablespoon? Found it. One, two. I'm gonna be living like Aquaman in a bit here. The computer has shut down. Even it doesn't want me to finish this. Two tablespoons sugar. Tablespoon sugar is one word. I just realized I made a mistake. I added way too much salt. It was only supposed to be a teaspoon. So that is on me. If these taste like the ocean, surprisingly, it's probably, probably will still be Google Translate's fault. Let's be honest. I have another tablespoon thing here because the other one is in the sink. Sitting in something dirty. Sugar. Now it can be sweet. Do two things. Ooh, wh what things? What do I, and, what, and why do I have to do two of them? Do I have to do two separate things? The same thing two times? <sighs> okay, you know what? La, la. There, I just put a, I just put a cross in the mix. I just put a cross in it. Like, that's two things. One, two, okay? That, that's how, that's what we're doing. Add the eggs, milk, oil, and vanilla extract and mix until the mixture is smooth and thick. That seems about right, up until the smooth and thick part. All right, eggs. The recipe doesn't even have eggs. What am I supposed to... The ingredients list doesn't have eggs. And then the recipe is saying add eggs. What eggs? Like, do I add eggs? Do I... Okay, milk, two tablespoons of milk. What in the heck kind of recipe uses tablespoons of milk? Oh yeah, Google translated one. One, two. You overflowed a bit. Three quarters of a cup of all... Bro. This recipe wants to give me a heart attack. I'm using the extra virgin olive oil, even though it just says olive oil. Though it would make a difference if the oil would actually come out. That would help. Eight. Do not shut off on me again. These so are going to be very oily waffles, I can tell. One quarter, two quarter, three quarter. Until the mixture is smooth and thick. All right. Oh, it's so crumbly. So crumbly. All right. I guess we're going to just have to move on. This is like cookie dough consistency. I hope these taste all right. I mean, they have sugar in them, so hopefully so. Oh God, this is gonna be interesting. Heat a waffle iron. Waffle iron. 
and it is good to go. While the iron is hot, drop half to a quarter of the batter in the center of the waffle iron. The dishes will not melt during cooking. Well, that's good to know. Though I'm not even sure how these are gonna turn out anymore. Should be heated. I'm gonna spray it because I don't want any of this to actually get stuck to the iron. Destroy my iron. Trying to do something dumb. Just kinda kinda form this like a cookie almost. Just kinda flatten it out and then turn on the waffle maker. Didn't I just do that? How was I supposed to heat you up if you're not supposed to be on yet? Did they want me to heat it up medieval style over an open fire? It's on. It's on. I'm just gonna move that to the side. It's, it's cooking. It's doing something. Are there any more steps here? Continue this process until the dough is ready. How do I know if the dough is ready? Will it say, help me, I'm ready? Uh oh, she's smoking. She is smoking a bit. Hot waffles are even better. Well, I mean, if they're frozen from the grocery store, but... There are about five chips in Belgium. Where did we get chips from? On that note, that's the end of the recipe. I love how not too much was changed, but what was changed just kind of turned waffles into basically cookie dough, which will probably taste like a pretzel without salt. Or maybe it will taste like a pretzel because it has salt in it. And then we just end on, there are about five chips in Belgium. But are you ready, dough? Recipe said, go until you're ready. So whenever you're ready, take your time. I can wait. Is you ready yet? Oh? Oh? Guys, I think she's ready. Oh. There's our waffle. It's not quite big, but we didn't really put a big amount of dough in it. It smells like bread. It just smells like straight bread. Did we just make bread disguised as waffles? I think we just made bread that's like disguised as waffles or something. Cooled down yet? I think she's cold enough. All right. Looks like a waffle, feels like a waffle. Moment of truth. salt in my teeth. What's really funny about that actually is if I had not read the recipe wrong and not put so much salt in, these would actually not be that bad. After a bit, all I can really taste is the salt. You know, when this was on the plate cooling, I actually had high hopes for this, but I guess we can't really bet much on the dream. As simple and as um, unchanged as this was, I'm gonna, actually, I'm gonna put some syrup with it just before, just to see how that tastes. Probably won't be any better, probably it will taste like salty, salty sweet. This tastes like something trail mixy. I might change my mind on it. The syrup helps, but not a lot. Yeah, I'm, st I'm still gonna say this was a fail. So thank you for joining me on this. Almost dripped a syrup. Disastrous, I guess, I don't, I don't even know.
Ugh. So much salt in my mouth right now. I'm going to dry out. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Take care. I'm going to go wash my mouth out.